Hey, aloha everybody and welcome back to Beach Walks with Rocks. You can find us at beachwalks.tv. I wasn't planning to actually come back today. I uh, was hoping to take a couple more days off, but today is just too perfect and I felt an irresistible urge and as luck would have it, I had the camera in the car. I'm just coming back from paddling and we, um, we saw whales out there today. And I'm gonna throw the ball a little to Lexi because I'm kind of running out of time here. But, um, you know, it was a very interesting experience because this morning, actually last night, I was feeling really stressed and like I had too many things on my plate and all of these ideas that I want to work on and so I had sent an email to my paddling group saying that I'm going to surrender my regular seat. Good girl, Lexi. And because I felt that it, I, I just didn't have time to paddle two mornings a week. I was going to give that up as a sacrifice. And you know, of course I come this morning and we go way out, it's perfectly glassy, and we saw whales within about 200 feet of our boat just blowing and showing their flukes right in front of us. And it dawns on me that a couple of things. One, I don't want to let stress get the better of me, and I had said from the very beginning that Beach Walks is about sharing this beautiful place of Hawaii. And to, to be able to share aloha, then I need to feel aloha. And in order for me to feel aloha, then Beach Walks has to work within the context of my life. And so I really don't want to give up paddling and I don't want to give up Beach Walks. So tell me what you all think. Uh, do you want Beach Walks to continue? If you do, uh, drop me an email or leave me a comment because uh, I'd sure like to keep it going and really asking the universe to help make that happen. But you know, mechanically I was thinking about how we tend to pressure ourselves uh, sometimes into thinking, you know, well I, I'll paddle if we get to see whales. Well you know what, realistically, throughout the course of the 12 months there are maybe three to five days out of the entire year when it's calm enough that we can go out past the islands and you know, a couple of miles offshore to where the whales are hanging out. And so in order to be able to take advantage of that opportunity, then, you know, I've got to get in the boat on a regular basis and, in a sense, put in my time. And my little number two wants to say, well, then you must, you must, you must always go. Well, no, I don't always have to go because I had a similar situation with Simple Souls, which is um, J-Rock's band. I wanted to go see them last week, and it turns out it was raining really hard. They were on the other side of the island and they didn't start their set until about 8, 30, 9 o'clock. And I was tired and I still had a beach walk show to put together. And so I decided not to go. And, you know, I realized if an opportunity is going to be relevant in my life, it's going to keep showing up. And what beach walks is really about for me is about removing the pressure. The pressure to have to. Hey, Lexi found a little friend here. And also being open to the joy of wanting to. And so I'm just feeling such tremendous joy today. Um, thank you so much for joining me and Lexi today. If you'd like to Skype us, where's your ball? You gotta go get your ball, honey. You can Skype at Roxanne Darling. If you'd like to call, the number is 949-544-1456. And aloha everybody, malama pono and ahui ho. Okay, let's get your ball, huh?